Hey guys, welcome to my third um, auto encoding tutorial. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a uh, GUI with an object in it, which um, an object is something that can um, display a web browser or a web page. So that's pretty cool. Um, as well as that, we'll have an uh, input box where you can put like a URL and then um, a button so that when you press the button, the object will navigate to that URL that you specified in the input box, which is pretty cool. First thing you want to do is, of course, open up your site editor, um, save it as something, I already have it um, saved as something, but um, for you to save it as something. Um, we'll need uh, these three files, but before we're going to make the GUI before anything. So you can do it man manually again, but I just do the GUI maker because it's a lot quicker and um, easier. So um, you make a new window, it could be um, object tutorial, doesn't matter. Um, that's about a good size right there. We're going to add our input box for the URL. Um, leave it blank so that you can actually put something in there. Right, that's good. Add our button. Um, go to URL. Right here. Add a little label too. Um, put URL here. Alright, and you can put your URL right here. And then since that's all we need, the object's going to be right here. So, just export the script. Yes. Save it as something. I'm just going to overwrite a file that I already have made. Um, add whatever. Yes. Alright, now open up your site editor. Oh, that's the... Alright, well, here it is. Um, we, got, we need to include three files before we get anything, before we start anything. Include those three files up there. Um, IE.OU3, or AU3, GYConstantsEX.AU3, and WindowsConstants. Go ahead, pause it, whatever, just get those in. Um, now we have our GUI create. Um, there's the title. Um, left, uh, or width, height, left top for that. We got our first button with our variable, and then that variable equals the you making the button. There's the title of it, left top width and height. Oh, it's going to be way too big. See, look, before anything, you want to test it. See, of course, it's retarded looking. That sometimes happens, but height, we're going to do 40 and 90. And our, you, our input, it's going to be a little longer, left top width, it's going to be 160. That's good. And our label needs to be a little longer. Just go ahead and make it 100. So be sure. Test it out. All right, there you go. That's pretty good. Now um, we're going to create the object. We're going to make a variable. Um, o I E equals GUI control create object. Oops, that's I'm going too fast. First, you got to do this. Um, second not this we got to make um, an embedded control which means that it can have a, it can go to a web page in the object so you're going to do um, I equals um, um, underscore ie um, is it embedded create there it is create embedded right there um, make your variable and then just do underscore IE create embedded which makes an embedded window in your GUI where you can navigate to websites and stuff and then have these brackets so that it will set that information into that variable now we're gonna make our um, object pick a variable doesn't matter um, object equals GUI control create object Oops. There you go. parentheses our object variable where is the embedded Put that. Um, o I E. Now your left top width and height. Do it around the. You just gotta try to visualize with the total size of the GUI and then where your buttons and stuff is, and then put that under. So you, since it's width height, you're gonna have the left about ten. For, so it's gonna be ten from that left side. Top, it's gonna be um, under the buttons in the input box. So maybe. 150, 
width. It's going to be about the width of the G or the GUI window, so 550, and height. It's going to be um, under that, so it's going to be like 400. Let's test this out. All right, I don't know if you can see it, but it's right there. It's a little too tall, and I can make it a little higher. Hold on, left top, put it to 110, and let's see this. Um, that's perfect, right there. Now, um, we're going to set our state, it doesn't matter, just put it to show, because that's what I always do, so it shows the GUI, there. And, um, now, here's our while statement, it pulls the GUI for the get message function, and if you click close, it exits, or exits, and if you press the button, it makes that function for the button. So, if you don't know what I'm talking about, make sure you've seen my first and second tutorial. Now, we're going to make our function for, or what happens when we click that button. We're going to... Do a, fun a really handy dandy function. How handy dandy? This function is called GUI control read. It reads the information in a variable. So if you have an input box, whatever the user inputs, it reads what it what's in there, which is the URL, and then stores it in that GUI read. So it's going to be input one, and that's it. But we're going to make that a variable, so it's easier to work with. Read one equals. All right. Now we're going to navigate to that URL that's specified. It's going to be underscore i.e. navigate and then what object it is and it's going to be that object right there object and your URL since it's stored from the input box into that read one I'm just going to put read one that's it if it was just if you already just want to put it have it always going to that URL you can just put uh, quotations and then a URL like www.google.com so every time it navigates to Google but we're going to do it for the user so and let's test this out now that GUI control reads gonna read what we put in this input box google.com and when we press the button it navigates oh we got an error let's see um, in the oh it's the wrong it has to be the embedded sorry I I did the object it has to be that which is the embedded oops So www. Make sure it's already to always like if it has a space like that. Make sure it's all the way to the left, so you don't have any issues there. And go to URL, and there you go. It goes to Google. The GUI control re read function read what we put in there, and when we clicked go the button, it navigated in that um, embedded window with that URL. Oops. <laughs> So, um, I hope you enjoyed my third tutorial on auto coding. This is a really sweet, this is probably the sweetest tutorial ever I've had because you get to work with web pages and stuff um, for a bot or whatever you're doing. So, um, stay tuned for my fourth tutorial, which should be coming out soon, maybe tonight, later today or tomorrow. So, um, hope you enjoyed. Please rate and comment, send me any messages if you have any problems. See ya.